In the world of underground rap, few artists are as influential and as controversial as Space Ghost Perp. In this video, I'd like to discuss how Perp has had a huge influence on hip hop today, as well as the controversies that I believe held him back from fulfilling his full potential in the music industry. Marquise Roll, better known as Space Ghost Perp, was born on April 1st, 1991 in Carroll City, Miami, Florida. Perp began rapping at the age of 5 and making beats at 13. In high school, Perp began pursuing a career in music, and in 2008 he created a now legendary hip-hop collective Raider Clan with his cousins. In an interview with Perp, he stated that he created Raider Clan to give a platform to and promote young talents and embrace black youth. Perp has also said that in his youth he felt like an outcast when the people he grew up with didn't accept him because of the way he expressed himself through wearing gothic clothing and painting his nails black. He felt that he could use Raider Clan to give a platform to people who felt out of place, similarly to him. After its initial creation, Space Ghost Perp added more members to Raider Clan, most notably Young Simi, Nell, Chris Travis, Xavier Wolf, and Denzel Curry. Space Ghost Perp made significant waves in the underground scene with his mixtapes, in particular NASA the Mixtape and Blackland Radio 66.6. The latter of which has amazing cover art, which is a real throwback to the artwork seen on a lot of old school Memphis rap tapes, and was made by fellow underground rap legend Lil Ugly Man. These mixtapes feature the trippy and dark production Space Ghost Perp would come to be known for, a style of production that is heavily influenced by the artists in the underground Memphis rap scene of the 90s like 3-6 Mafia and Tommy Wright III. When it comes to Perp's rapping on these tapes, about 80% of it is freestyled, which I really feel adds to the roughness and raw energy of these tapes. Perp's freestyles are definitely a throwback to 90s artists like Easy e and Snoop Dogg. There's definitely a West Coast feel to a lot of them. Perp is also known for rapping about socially conscious themes like black empowerment and cites California rapper Paris as an influence on his music, a rapper who is known for his highly charged political and socially conscious lyrics. In 2011, as Perp continued to release music and garner more attention, he caught the eye of ASAP Mob co-founder ASAP Yams, who told Perp he was a fan of his mixtape Blackland Radio 66.6 and then invited Perp to New York to collaborate on music. This came to fruition when Space Ghost Perp had production and two features on ASAP Rocky's critically acclaimed debut mixtape Live Love ASAP. At this point in Perp's career, things were looking pretty good for him. His star was definitely on the rise and it looked like a sure thing that there was more big things in store for him. This was brought to a screeching halt when Perp landed himself in legal trouble when he punched a journalist in the face at an ASAP Mob live show because he felt the journalist was hating on Rocky. Perp also felt that the ASAP Mob were copying his style, that style being the dark clothing both ASAP Mob and Raider Clan became known for wearing, and the use of hieroglyphics. This led to an argument between Space Ghost Perp and ASAP Mob member asap 12 on Twitter because of Perp's feelings of being ripped off by ASAP Mob, and 12 e feeling as though Perp was trying to ride the success of ASAP Mob for his own personal gain. Shortly after this altercation between 12 and Perp, ASAP Rocky dissed Raider Clan on the remix to David Banner's Yao Ming. However, after this, it looked as though Raider Clan and ASAP Mob had settled their differences because Perp and Rocky released their iconic collaboration, Pretty Flacco. This moment of peace was short-lived, however, because Perp once again took issue with ASAP Mob when they played an unreleased Space Ghost Perp track during their 2012 Coachella performance. Things got even worse between Perp and ASAP Mob when Rocky released his single Goldie, which featured lyrics that he had stolen from the Space Ghost Perp song My Enemy in relation to women writing their names on their toes. Then, after this, ASAP 12V and Raider Clan member Matt Stoops got into a fight, which resulted in 12V smashing a bottle over Matt's head. Perp responded to this by threatening to kill 12 on Twitter, and shortly after this released a video of himself surrounded by other members of the Raider Clan, making the announcement that Raider Clan is not in any way affiliated with ASAP Mob. In July of 2012, ASAP Rocky responded to this during an interview at an awards show, saying fuck Perp and he should stick to making beats. Space goes Perp, man. What's going on with that, B? Epic. 
him, straight up, you know what I'm saying? He one of those cats, like, a lot of guys just hang around me, try to get high, and you know, when they dip off, start throwing dirt on the young bluff, they can't stop the pretty motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he know what it is, and he's trying to lie to people, pumping that we took styles from him, and I mean, if you really look at it, the proof is in the pudding, he's corny, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, stick to making beats, that's all I gotta say. Things then got even worse when ASAP Mob performed in Miami, home of the Raider Clan, and Raider Clan showed up in the parking lot of the venue waiting to see ASAP Mob once the show was over. The authorities were alerted, however, ASAP Mob co-founder and predatory weirdo ASAP Barry jumped the fence and was allegedly assaulted by the Raider Clan. This altercation came to an end when shots rang out outside the venue and the ASAP mob and Raider clan dispersed. However, Perp was arrested outside the venue for this. After this, another fight broke out between Raider clan members and ASAP mob members, this time in the home of the ASAP mob, New York City. This fight led to internal tensions rising between Raider Clan members and Space Ghost Perp, with members of Raider Clan feeling as though these issues were not about Raider Clan having a problem with ASAP Mob, but more so Space Ghost Perp alone having a problem with ASAP Mob. And then, in the coming months, more and more members of Raider Clan would leave the group until it was a shadow of what it once was. Since the end of Raider Clan, Perp has went on to have many more controversies in the form of public beefs with artists such as XXXTentacion, Lil Nair, and even former Raider Clan members like Denzel Curry and Xavier Wolf. Perp, to this day, continues to attack ASAP Rocky on social media and particularly enjoys accusing Rocky of being a homosexual. Last year in one of Perp's funnier Twitter rants, he claimed that he saw Rocky rubbing a man's ass at a pool party in 2011. He wrote, and I quote, I was pulling up with my girl and shit and I was on the phone like, yo bro, where you at? I don't see. He was like, yo, look down, I'm right here. Next thing you know, he's in the pool rubbing a man's ass. He then went on to say, so if you want to know why ASAP Rocky and ASAP and every rapper hate me so much, it's because I stopped hanging with him because he didn't tell me that he was a homosexual on the low and I felt like he lied about his life, so in order for him to keep his secret, he got me blacklisted in music. Perp has also beefed with an 11 year old rapper named Lil Shark and accused the young artist of looking like he fakes seizures when his mom doesn't buy him Capri Suns. After the tragic death of ASAP Yams in 2015, Space Ghost Perp made a series of tweets mocking his death, and in response to this, former Raider Clan members Denzel Curry and Lofty305 teamed up with XXXTentacion and Ski Mask the Slump God to make the diss track, Space Ghost Pussy. The strangest thing to me about this perp making fun of the death of Yam situation is that in the 2017 interview with Ham on Everything, perp claims that he spoke to Yams on his birthday before he passed and said that he had squashed the beef, so I truly don't get what perp's motivation to do such a horrible thing was. All of these controversies perp has been involved in definitely put a ceiling on how far Space Ghost perp could go in the music industry. But for the remainder of this video, instead of focusing on the negatives that held Perp back from reaching his full potential, I'd much rather give Perp the credit he deserves and discuss just how influential Space Ghost Perp is to modern hip hop. Space Ghost Perp has been credited for bringing goth culture to hip hop in the 2010s and creating the new wave of goth rappers. Long before artists like Lil Peep and Lil Tracy, Space Ghost Perp was known for rocking dark gothic clothing and painting his fingernails black. And it would be wrong of me not to mention that fellow underground legend Black Ray had a huge part in this rise of goth themes and goth fashion in hip hop. When it comes to Perp's music, Space Ghost Perp is often credited with bringing a lot of elements that were found in the 90s Memphis rap scene back to rap in the 2010s. This influenced a lot more artists to also implement these ideas into their music, including Bones, Ghost Mane, Suicide Boys, Xavier Wolf, Chris Travis, and many, many more. While Space Ghost Perp remains to be one of the most controversial and divisive artists in hip hop today, the fact that he has made a huge impact on the modern day landscape of the genre is undeniable, and I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves for that. The man is a living legend. And I hope you see that after today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Well, thanks so much, Raider Clan and Space Ghost. Fucking perp. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? 
Kiss my ass and fuck all you fucking idiots, bitch. Well, thanks much, Raider Clan. Space goes perp. Keep on rocking in the free world. And do 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 toot. That shit. He did that shit. He threw that shit for real.